OpenChat version 2 is a go at last. You'll need to create a new account for version 2, but we'll keep version 1 running indefinitely. That is the message on Twitter by OpenChat team. There's a new version of OpenChat running right now. In this video, we're going to see what is new on version 2 of OpenChat. We're going to find out if it's strong enough to compete with Telegram, WhatsApp, and WeChat, and more out there, the centralized ones. We'll find out. Keep watching. First of all, let's start by talking about how to get started on the new Open Chart. If you want to sign up for Open Chart version 2, you will need a phone number or ICP. But we noticed that the phone number doesn't work for most countries, even though a few people have said it worked for them. But generally, there's been complaints about um, phone numbers. So most people have to use ICP. And how many ICP? 0 0.1 ICP. So if you want to sign up for the new open chat, be ready to deposit some ICP into an address which will be available when you try signing up. Once you do that, you'll be able to explore it. So that said, let's go right to it. Version 2 comes with some new features, unlike version 1. Um, first of all, what we notice here is difference in color. So this is version one right here, just sitting there. It's been sitting there for a while and created some groups and stuff. And version two, um, what is very apparent is the colors, the blend of colors, very appealing to the eye, I'd say. What else? Let's look at more details here. First, we have the option to create groups just like in version one and next we have uh, an option to change theme um, so if we try to do that we have different kinds of themes here system default light original dark original dark too dark for me light works for me so this right here is a light theme. And what else? Let's look at enable notification. That's something new for version two. I haven't tried yet to see how it works, but some people have said they're able to receive notifications when they get messages on the open chat. What else? Was hot. Was hot. Okay, let's find out what's hot. Once you go here, you notice uh, we have recommended groups. Select a group to preview or join. Here we have different groups that are being created on Open Chat. If you want to join a group, you can just choose any of the groups right here. And for instance, you, if you may want to preview first. Uh, preview you're gonna see the activity going on in the group the group names and the number of participants and then you can join right here if you want to I see developers I want to be there see what's going on so I just joined and if we go back to what's hot look at more groups here there are really so many groups memes uh, uh, ICP NFT and a lot a lot of groups let's, let's see ICP NFT I want to join that group be a part of it see what's going on with NFTs on ICP uh, right there boom right there in the group and let's check out another group right here memes 
No. And I I had already joined so many groups we can see on the list here. Uh, there are many groups that I'm already part of and there's a lot of chat going on in these groups. We open chat. Here we have chat about the open chat and people can ask questions. And you see so, so much is going on already. It's like WhatsApp or Telegram, you know. So much is going on already in groups. And that's that about groups. And let's look at what else. Um, nothing else. Now, uh, so what is missing? Usually we have options to send a message. We have uh, emoticons. You can attach a photo or video. And, and you can send a voice note. There's that option as well. And so far... The, the option that we don't have is uh, have a video chat or a voice call. I'm sure that is coming up uh, in the next uh, versions. And equally, another thing that uh, we we expect to have on open chat is the ability to send ICPs or cycles to friends. So with open chat, you'll be able to make transactions, send money, send tokens to friends and family uh, whenever you want, which is pretty cool. It's something we don't have with the centralized um, platforms. And that's what we have so far about open chat. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot more coming on, but if you can notice, uh, it's a big difference between version 1 and version 2. And probably we'll have version 3 again uh, another time, which would come with uh, more options that we just talked about. Uh, before then, I think it is uh, so far so good and hoping for more in if you want to stay connected and learn more about open chat and other stuff on the internet computer, don't forget to subscribe and stay updated. See you again in my next slides. Bye-bye.